I'm Nikki Novo, your spiritual mentor, here with another Monday message. So today we're going to talk about three ways to overcome doubt when you're starting a new project. So if you've been following my work for a while, you might not know this about me, but I am the queen of doubt, especially when it comes to projects. When you have your own business, you know, there's constant new projects that have to happen and I love to stall them and I love to like stop them a lot of the times because I'm afraid and I'm doubtful. So I really do feel like I'm the best person to talk to you about this because I mean, first of all, doubt does not need to be completely extinct or not in your life to be able to accomplish the things that you really want to accomplish. You don't have to wait for doubt to go away to actually start your project. So I really want to start by saying that, that it's okay to have doubt. It can hang out right next to you, but it doesn't have to be completely around you and and overtaking you okay so let's i'm going to give you three tips that you can keep in your pocket when you're feeling doubtful okay the first thing is you're going to notice what are you focusing on that's the first question to ask yourself are you focusing on why you started this and all the inspiration that you felt when you first started this project are you focusing on the people that you're helping and that you're serving or are you focusing on all the things that can go wrong or on what your friends told you can go wrong or on the, the, the lack, right? Because there's always going to be lack, but there's also going to be a lot of good stuff as well. And what we focus on is what becomes real and what grows. So first thing, when you feel doubt, rearranging your focus. Eh, it's over here. It's in negativity and doubt. Let's bring it over to all the things that are working and the, and the people that we're actually trying to serve and trying to help. Okay. The second thing you can do is question your doubt because one thing we know for sure, doubt does not come from inside of us, right? We are these pure, beautiful souls and and doubt is actually of the darkness and so doubt hangs around us, it's not of us, okay? So that means that we can actually talk to it, it's separate from us, so we can create that separation because sometimes doubt feels like it's one with us and that it's part of us and then we start believing that like it's real and that's who we are. But if you can remember that it's not us and you can separate yourself from it, then you can start having a conversation with it, okay? And the first thing you're, you're gonna say is like, hey, why are you here? Because sometimes doubt is not a bad thing, right? A lot of times my doubt comes and shows up because it's reminding me to plan better. It's reminding me to prepare better. So you can at least check in with it because sometimes it's showing up to serve us. Sometimes it's being like, hey, like just research this a little bit more or like look into this a little bit more. It's not all bad. And by creating that separation and not being afraid of it and embracing the doubt, it can actually be there to help us and serve us and we don't have to be so scared of it. And then the third thing would be to be aware of when you become doubtful. What are those doubtful moments? Because sometimes, you might notice that there's some somewhat of a pattern, okay? So perhaps you go to your parents' house one day and you tell them all about your new project and they start expressing out of love their own concerns, their own doubts, and then for like three days after that, you're like super afraid and doubtful and you can't even like start. You don't even know what to do. And you have to remember that we are absorbing little beings, right? So if somebody else has doubt and we're really close to them, we might absorb that and not even know that we're doing it, okay? Maybe you're somebody who gets doubtful because you're home alone all the time. Well, go to like a co-working space or go to a coffee shop so you can vibe off that, that energy because we absorb. So sometimes if you need to like go out and, and vibe off other people's energy, that can help you. I went through that. I would be at home all the time writing by myself or doing my work by myself, not talking to anybody, only the crazy thoughts in my brain. And finally, it was like, I can't do this anymore. And I would start going out. And I was vibing off all the energy of all the other entrepreneurs who were making things happen. And that really helped me. Okay. So those are your three tips. We have some spiritual homework as well. It's on the blog. I wrote out a bunch of questions for you that you can just answer to help you get to know your doubt, help you to overcome your doubt and work through it. So all you have to do is go over to NikkiNovo.com and take a look at those questions and start answering them so that you can get a little bit closer to overcoming it. And remember, please stay on your spiritual path. If you find yourself falling off, know that I'll be here every Monday. Until next time, much love to you.